How's it going, everybody? It's your man Leonidas, aka Mr. Homebrew. Now, as you can see on the right hand side there, we have the Nintendo Switch running The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Great frame rate. Looks beautiful. I'm going to jump into a save file real quick, give you guys an idea of what you can expect. For performance now this is n64 running on retroarch now let's get outside real quickly gorgeous performance gets better as you continue running through your game and do certain actions Look at this beauty right here. Gorgeous. Nintendo Switch. You can take this anywhere you want. Great battery life. Overclocking doesn't hurt your battery life much at all. Temperatures are great. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to take the time. Close that up correctly. And we're gonna get in to this tutorial for you guys. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn off your Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm gonna say it here. You're gonna wanna make sure your micro SD card is formatted as FAT32. That will prevent corruption. You'll get better reliability. I'm gonna say it again. Make sure your micro SD card is formatted as FAT32. Back up important files if you need to beforehand. Formatting can erase any files on your micro SD card. I'm going to remove my micro SD card from my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to put it into this little dongle if you want to call it that. Plug it in. It says there's a problem. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Now. What you're going to want to do is download one of the packages in the description now any one of those packages are going to have a different theme applied they're all going to have all the necessary things remember you just need one of the packages from down below in the description now i have here the mr homebrew black and yellow package i already extracted it into this folder now what you're going to want to do is extract and copy and paste everything to the root of your micro SD card that's formatted as FAT32. So, highlight everything, copy and paste it to the root of your micro SD card. I'm not going to do that now, only because I already have things there and in order for myself. So, you'll do that. Wait patient. Once those files have transferred over, Make sure you close everything up. Take the time to eject your micro SD card properly to avoid corruption. Now, once Windows says I'm good to go, I can unplug my micro SD card and put it back into my Nintendo Switch. Now you're gonna have to put your Nintendo Switch into RCM mode. Now one of the ways of doing that is by shorting out pins 1 and 10 or 9 and 10 on the right Joy-Con slot. You're going to need something like this. RCM jig. Slide it in. That right Joy-Con slot. Hold the volume up and power button for a couple of seconds. And then let go. Or no, it's the volume down and power button for 3 seconds. And then let go. It's one or the other. It's either volume up and hold the power button for three seconds, let go. You should still remain on a blank screen or it's the volume down and power button when your Nintendo Switch is off. I use auto RCM, so it's not something I've had to do in a while. My Nintendo Switch automatically goes into RCM mode with auto RCM, so I don't need to do that one step I just showed you there. Once you've done that, 
and your Nintendo Switch is in RCM mode. Still black, the screen. You're going to send your payload. You can send it from Android using Mercado. You can use Tigra RCM GUI, or you can use the RCM loader, as I have down here, which sends the payload just like that. I had to send the payload twice. That's because I have auto RCM. So I have it so that my Nintendo Switch fully turns off. Now, wait for that bad boy to boot up. Now, if you're using one of the packages provided in the description to get into Homebrew, you're going to want to have Pokemon Quest. All you're going to do is launch Pokemon Quest. Give it a moment. And it's going to launch into homebrew. You're going to want to launch RetroArch from within there. For time's sake, I'm going to launch it real quick from here. Bang. RetroArch. Look at that beauty. It runs nice. No complaints. You can play PlayStation, N64, GameCube, or, um, sorry, not GameCube, um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, things like that. Uh, we and GameCube, don't be bothering about that. That won't happen for a long, long time. Um, so now, I'm going to want to take a second. And I'm just going to load up Legend of Zelda one more time quickly. I'm going to show you that performance in a different spot within the game. Give it a moment. Be patient for the game to start running. Sometimes it takes a moment. It's already running for me. The intro is about to pop up. There you go. That's why you got to be patient, right? Now I'm going to load into a save state real quick. Save states are working, in-game saves, all that good stuff. Now. Link all grown up, or should I say Leonidas as we got him in this game? Look at that right there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Performance does get better after you've been playing for a little while. At the beginning, it might seem a tad sluggish or drop at times, but then it'll pick back up and you won't have to worry. As you can see right there, I'm able to swim back and forth and I don't have to worry. Climb up top of here. A little slow the first time. Swing it. Second time around. Fast as ever. I'm going to load into another save state. Show how quick this is. Bang. Full grown Link. Back where he started. It's amazing. Look at that sword. And you guys can enjoy this. Remember, this is at your own discretion. Anything you do with your Nintendo Switch or any of your devices outside of the manufacturer's recommendation kind of thing. But... The risk is worth the reward. That's all I got to say. As you can see, there's a lot of fun to be had. Now, again, I'm going to show you if you need to go into homebrew for you guys, you're going to launch Pokemon Quest. And that's going to launch you right into homebrew. And you'll be good to go. You'll have everything you need there. And all your programs. No complaints. Launch things from within there. You'll get full RAM. All that, you won't have to worry about um, your N64 emulator crashing. And all in all, be sure to like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification icon slash bell. I appreciate the support from everyone. You know, this channel is all about helping you guys. And I will have some important updates coming for you guys really soon. So stay tuned. You'll be excited. All the best.